How's it going guys? So in this video we are going to be talking about how to create some materials in True Assets and we're not going to be importing them from other blend files, we're going to be pointing it at a texture directory just like this one with our texture folders in and then inside of them we've got our textures um, as you can see all of these amazing textures are from ambientcg.com so we're going to get straight to that now very easy to do with the True Assets panel open we just click create materials and as you can see here, we've got ooh, all my bookmarks and stuff, the directory that I just showed you. Um, so we want to pull all of them in, don't need to select anything. We're just going to make sure that we use the Uber shader for this one. Uh, and we just click Create Materials, very simple. Blender will do now is it'll bring them all into the lookbook file. It'll start to generate the icons. And in a couple of minutes, you'll have a full set of materials. So I'll pause it there and get back to you in a minute. And we are back. Now the materials have all been brought in and all of the uh, icons have been generated. We can go to our materials objects, uh, sorry, our materials section. Uh, reading too many things. Uh, materials section, and we'll see that they're all there. Um, obviously, they're in the current file, but don't worry because when we click new, Open up a new scene. We'll see that in our asset browser, if we go to our material section, all of the materials are there. And if you haven't used the asset library or the asset browser before, materials are super easy oh, to put on to origin, world origin. Super easy to stick on any object. It's just a simple drag and drop. And I'm going to quickly show you the uh, modifiers. Let's just go to and enable that. And if we go to our render view and just smooth shade our ball, we can see that if we drop any materials on, they just go straight on, straight away. Uh, and then you can view the material functions in the material tab. You'll be given a true Uber material, custom material. Thank you kindly, uh, and that is there, and this will affect, you can affect a lot of things with this, we can mess with the metallicness, we can mess with the roughness, we can mess with uh, some anastrippy and uh, bump strength, more normal maps, all that kind of stuff. And some of the materials that have got a nice displacement built into them, we can adjust the displacement values of this, so something like, uh, like that. Obviously, to do this, you will need to have uh, adaptive subdivision enabled, and you'll need to be in cycles and in the experimental render mode. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick short video on how to create some custom materials and bring them into the true assets material section. In the next video, we're going to be talking about how to catalog all of these and make some nice little tags for everything to be stacked in here. So, thanks for guys. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.